Alrighty, uh, guys, uh, do not forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you're new to this channel and especially if you enjoyed this video. So, uh, the other day I saw uh, a <laughs> Hatman Strikes Back uh, video which he titled Deontay Wilder Purse Exposed Only Made 10 Million Against Brazil. And uh, in the art, in the uh, in his video, he basically shows like a website called the mirror where they a website called mirror where they basically t said that uh, Deontay Wilder earned 10 million against uh, Dominic Brazil. And uh, even in my community post, I posted in my community post letting you guys know my opinion about that uh, because you know when Deontay Wilder. Uh, rejected the zone deal when he rejected the zone deal mind you he was going to receive a hundred and twenty million guaranteed right he was going to receive 20 million for dominic brazil and then 50 million a piece for two back-to-back -back fights with anthony joshua after all those fights after he would have gone through with all those fights he would have made a total of a grand total of 120 million right Plus some change because, you know, you're talking about the pay-per-view numbers and, and all that stuff. Well, well, it would have happened in his own. So that, never mind. Never mind that. But uh, he would have earned $20 million against, the zone, against against Dominic Brazil had he signed the DAZN deal, the DAZN deal back in uh, March, right? I think it was mid-March, right? Instead, he elected to reject that and re-sign with Showtime. And he said... I want to be a free agent, baby. That's what he said. I want to be a free agent, baby. I'm all about loyalty, baby. That's what he said. I'm all about loyalty. I don't need to be, you know, signed to no contract. I'm all about being a free agent. And I made a video uh, basically calling Deontay Wilder dumb. I said, Deontay Wilder, as soon as that happened, I said, Deontay Wilder is a dumb heavyweight and he basically walked over a 20 million dollar payday that he would have received had he signed with the zone against brazil for like a 2.5 million dollar payday well we later found out that it was actually 10 million and on that video i received a bunch of uh obviously criticism and but her uh deontay wilder fans responding to my video leaving me comments telling me how how stupid do you, how stupid I am, calling me dumb, saying I'm a dumb idiot, wrecked, you're dumb, you're just an idiot. I, I remember a bunch of LDBC uh, channels making videos saying, why would, why would Ant Deontay Wilder sign uh, with the zone when he could make more money fighting Dominic Brazil signing with Showtime? A lot of them were pushing that narrative. Oh, no, 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 no. Wilder's going to make way more money if he signs with Showtime versus Brazil. They were acting like Deontay Wilder was going to receive $25 million against Dominic Brazil. They were acting like Showtime was going to pay Deontay Wilder a $25 million purse to face uh, Dominic Brazil. And therefore, and therefore, it was okay for Deontay Wilder to reject that fight, that deal with his own because he would have made more money uh, fighting Brazil on Showtime, right? That's what the narrative was with the LDBC channels. And many people, many Deontay Wilder fanboys who left comments in my comment section, they were saying, yo, he's going to make more money with Showtime. But then we fucking find out that, in fact, he didn't make more money with Showtime. He made $10 million less. So right there, that's a dumb business uh, decision that Deontay Wilder made. Wilder missed out on $10 million. He could have earned an extra $10 million dollars uh, last Saturday, had he signed with uh, the zone, he could have earned ten million dollars more. So right there, that's a that's just like a dumb uh, business move for his part, right? If he was smart, he would have taken the zone deal. Right now, he would be he would have a bank account that said twenty plus million dollars, uh, you know, in your fucking bank account now, okay? Instead of just ten million, right? But he missed out on that because he decided, you know what? I want to re-sign with Showtime, right? So for all those people who were saying, you know, what are you talking about? He's going to make more money signing with Showtime. You guys are dumb. You guys had no idea what Deontay Wilder was going to make had he signed, when he re-signed with Showtime against Brazil. You guys had no idea. You guys were just assuming. And you guys had no idea because Wilder never made it public. Wilder, when they announced that he was re-signing to Showtime, they did not announce how much he was going to make against Brazil. They did not. They, they did not announce that. They were keeping it hush hush. 
they didn't say anything. They were saying, you know what, we don't want to tell anyone, you know, about the figures or how much he's resigning, how much is this deal he's he's going to have with Showtime. They, they were keeping it hush mode. So all these Deontay Wilder fans were going around saying, what you talking about? He's actually making more money resigning with Showtime. But these motherfuckers had no idea how if, if that was true or not. And then we find out that it wasn't true. It wasn't true at all. He's making less money. The reality, the reality was, people, Deontay Wilder chose to not sign with Showtime. I mean, then showed. I mean, decided to not sign with Showtime because he saw that Anthony Joshua's name was attached to to that disown deal. He knew had he signed that disown deal, how he had he signed the dotted line, he would have been forced to fight Dominic Brazil and then Anthony Joshua in two back to back fights. And Deontay Wilder did not want to go through through with that. He did not want to go through with that. So he elected to re reject his highest payday of 20 million and his highest earnings uh in the next for the next for his next three fights of his entire career which is 120 million because he was afraid or maybe not afraid but he felt he wasn't ready to get in there with Anthony Joshua. This is why he rejected that disown deal. So don't come at me and tell me, oh, Deontay Wilder rejected that disown deal because he was a smart fucking businessman. He wasn't a smart fucking businessman because he lost out on $10 million that he could have made an extra $10 million had he signed with that, with his own. All right? So it just goes to show you, Showtime didn't have the money to uh, give because uh, people kept saying Showtime was going to give him more than his own. They didn't have the money to give him. Or maybe they did, but they didn't feel he was worth it, you know? They didn't feel he was worth $25 million to pay him, like, you know, Floyd Mayweather with Jr., because they were willing to pay Floyd Mayweather with Jr. $32 million per fight in a six-fight deal years ago. So, I don't know. Maybe, you know, Showtime just doesn't feel Deontay Wilder's worth that type of money. So, they're just going to offer him $10 million. All right? The bottom line is, Deontay Wilder made a dumb business move when he rejected the zone. All right, he missed out on ten million dollars. He missed out on one hundred and twenty million dollars. That's a lot to say, guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'm out, man. Peace.